Okay. Uh, good morning. Thank you to be here. Uh, and this talk will see some limitation of the Berkeley Socket API uh, application programming interface uh, and the way we propose to, to solve this problem. Uh, uh, it happens I'm the, the head of the Master's School in Science and Technology of Free Software at the University of Bologna. This is a quite short talk. Then I start by saying that all, by saying that all the details that uh, uh, can cannot be included here can be found at this wiki over there. Usually, the, the last light of a talk. Uh, you can see this as a last light of the virtual talk. Then we start with the real talk. Okay. Um, this wiki includes examples uh, uh, of. Uh, example specification code internals. The code itself is on, on source files and uh, most of the code is already included in many distribution like uh, Debian, Lenny. Um, the square results uh, uh, are included in many projects. For example, you have seen yesterday VD, which were included in Marinet, or I presented last year VOS. Uh, during virtual square studies about virtuality, we ran into some limitations imposed by the current implementation of uh, Berkeley Socket API. And uh, this talk represents the solution we proposed and we have implemented. Uh, but I want to notice, to make you notice, that uh, these are general solutions, not just limited to virtual machine, but uh, this solution are useful for common applications. Uh, oops. Backend Sockets API has been designed uh, with the implicit assumption of one single networking stack per protocol family shared by all the processes in the system. Uh, or somebody may need to have more stacks uh, for one family of protocol. Uh, let us make some scenarios together. For example, you, uh, you maybe, maybe you have set up uh, a VPN, a virtual private network, and you want to run two browsers, one browser running on the VPN, and the other browser running on your real networking. Maybe you want to access uh, local information, so you won't pass through the VPN, go to, the, to your home network and return back. Uh, a second scenario is about a system administration, a system administrator. They so want to assign different IP addresses to each uh, users, to each user. A third scenario is about uh, a, a network, uh, uh, if you want to test uh, network scenarios, network stacks, uh, and you on a remote machine, for example, you don't want to be cut, up, cut out from your uh, machine because uh, your stack uh, has a bug. So you can have two stacks running together. Um, the, uh, another point, the file system is a source uh, of naming for about everything, for almost everything in Unix, but networking. So networking is not on the file system. It's, it, there is not a device related to networking. So if you want to limit the access to networking to some user, you have no other mean but using IP tables with a strange configuration. While uh, if you want to uh, uh, to uh, restrict the access to a device, you just change uh, the permission as a file. And this is another point we want to solve. And the solution is named MSockets, MSockets, MultiSockets. Uh, our proposal to find a new kind of, uh, of special file, uh, this F, uh, F, uh, RF stack. Uh, in this way, the standard access control method applied to file can apply uh, can be applied to networking stacks too. MSockets is a new system call, uh, which is similar to sockets with one more parameter, the first one over there, uh, which is the, a path name that names the uh, stack, uh, the stack special file uh, we want to use. Uh, but this by this system call, we can uh, write programs using several, several stacks concurrently. Uh, but uh, 
then we need to have also backwards compatibility. So we say that if the, uh, we define the concept of standard stack, so if you name, if you call MSocket with the uh, false argument null, it means that you want to refer to the standard stack. And uh, the old call socket can be the same as uh, M socket with the first parameter equals to null. Uh, M socket defines the uh, standard stack when the uh, type is SOC default. So the, the same call can be used to use a stack or to define the standard stack. Um, okay. We are, the, we are uh, used uh, M socket with uh, uh, SOC default uh, uh, in a user land uh, uh, command named M stack. Uh, and as you can see, you can use all existing application on different stack, one at a time. Only new application can use several stacks at the same time. But you can use uh, the old application with the stack, the stack you like. For example, IBADR is the default net, the default stack, while you can uh, define the address of, of in another stack just by prefixing mstack. mstack does nothing than uh, uh, calling msocket, define the new uh, default stack, and executing the command. Uh, the default stack gets inherited, it's a, it's a process uh, uh, characteristic, uh, it's in the process control block, and gets inherited through program execution and uh, uh, process creation. So, uh, I mean uh, through uh, fork, v fork, uh, exec, v, and so on. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the proposal, the proposal has been implemented in VOS, so you can test it uh, by using VOS. Uh, okay. Uh, it, for example, you can try to, you can use it, uh, but uh, you can define network class user account. So account, uh, user account uh, for people that can enter the system, but uh, can use the network to have uh, outgoing connection. Uh, we are testing the degree of interest on this uh, proposal. Uh, and uh, a Linux kernel support is a possible evolution of the project. Now, let us pass very quickly to the, to the second problem. The second problem uh, we have found this, this problem while we were working on a kernel implementation of VDE, of the Virtual Distributed uh, Ethernet Network. Uh, while uh, Berkeley Socket API provides support for interprocess communication, the, the, the family, the address family AF Unix is not for network, it's just for interprocess communication. It provides a support just for point to point communication. It does not provide any support for multicast inter-process communication. Well, there are several, several applications that are currently using multicast APC. Think to, uh, okay, our VD, VD switch, but uh, it's more common to have the bus in your system. And the bus is a bus, so it needs some multicast communication. Uh, but you can also use it for MIDI patch or, or to the, uh, dispatch uh, packs on of uh, transport uh, um, stream and pack uh, uh, communication. Which is the situation today? The situation today is depicted in those figure in those uh, pictures. So the upper one shows shows you which is the situation now. So we have a sender. Commonly, you have F AF Unix, an AF Unix socket, a user land uh, daemon, which uh, works uh, as a dispatcher, uh, and you have some other servers. Using AF IPN, you can have, uh, you can, uh, 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 the, the, the daemon is not uh, uh, needed anymore. They, uh, all the 
analysis, all the uh, application logics uh, of the dispatcher can be moved uh, in a sub-module, and you can uh, have all the dispatching of the packets uh, happening at kernel layer, so in a very fast way. So the proposal is to have uh, a new family of protocol, AFIPN, that we have uh, imp implemented uh, as a kernel module. You can find it uh, uh, in the website, or also there are uh, references on the Linux kernel mailing list when, where we proposed the, the new family. Uh, the standard policy is uh, broadcast, so each message is delivered to all the members but the sender, but we have already implemented a video switch at the kernel layer with the support, and as a proof of concept, we have developed an MPEG TS dispatcher. So you can, for example, you can have a satellite card, you can receive a stream from a satellite transponder, and you can run several M players and see several TV programs concurrently, provided they are sent on the same channel, on the same transponder. Uh, the system provides uh, the, the AF APN support uh, provides two different services, so copy selectable, lossless or lossy. Lossless is a common bounded buffer approach, so uh, late to receive it. when the buffer uh, is full, the sender gets blocked. So uh, late receivers can delay senders. On the opposite, the lossy. The less uh, policy means that the late receivers simply lose data. Uh, we have changed the semantics, uh, slightly changed the semantics of uh, the socket calls. You don't need any accept because there is no server. The bind, the bind call means to define a network, an IP, IPN, and to be able to manage the network while the connector the connect uh, uh, call means to uh, read or receive data. As you can see, uh, you can use standard permissions on, fi on file to decide uh, which, uh, uh, which permission are allowed to, to the users. Here is an example. There is a peer-to-peer -peer communication in our processes. You have several processes running this code. You can, all the processes are connected by a networking. A network. Uh, when we proposed this on uh, Linux kernel mailing list, we had uh, some uh, uh, questions. Why don't you use AF Unix? And uh, this is because uh, AF Unix uh, is point to point and it is slow because you need an, uh, a user and daemon. Why don't you use IP multicast with time to link equals to zero? So it means that uh, all the communication stays in the, in your, on your system. But uh, there is no access control. And it is slow because you are running the entire TCP stack just for interprocess communication. AFNet link was designed for IP tables to, uh, to, to communicate between the user land commands and uh, uh, kernel services. Uh, just uh, three slides. This, this is. Uh, to show you that IPN is faster, there is a comparison uh, of uh, the time of for sending one million of packets, 60, byte, 60 bytes each, the number of receivers, and as you can see, we are faster, and uh, if, you send, if we sent uh, larger packets, we became, uh, in proportion, uh, much uh, faster. And this is scalability. Increasing the, uh, the size of the packet, the, we, we scale better than the other proposal, uh, IPN, uh, uh, multicast, and netlink. Uh, IPN can be used to, to implement uh, either peer-to-peer -peer communication or public subscribe. How? You can just uh, have a daemon that uh, create a network on a second where the, the, the subscriber cannot write, so they can just receive uh, data. Uh, the last feature, out-of-back messages to communicate co with the policy 
submodules, so policy submodules can send uh, information, for example, the number of radars to block uh, 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 the server from sending data when there are no receivers, and uh, uh, an API network can be directly connected to tap and uh, tap interface uh, to existing uh, uh, interface uh, like uh, uh, with the grab method. That's all because the, the, the clock ringed. Thank you.